Hello and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says, A pair of dice is thrown four times. If getting a doublet is considered a success, find the probability of two successes. Let us first understand Bernoulli trials and binomial distribution. Now, the trials of a random experiment are called Bernoulli trials if they satisfy the following conditions. 1. There should be a finite number of trials. 2. The trials should be independent. 3. Each trial has exactly two outcomes, success or failure. 4. The probability of success remains the same in each trial. Again, the probability of x successes, that is, probability of x equal to x, where the number of successes is a random variable, capital X, and this is also denoted by Px and is given by probability of x successes is equal to ncx into q raised to power n minus x into p raised to power x, where x is equal to 0, 1, 2, so on till n, and q is equal to 1 minus p. This px is called the probability function of the binomial distribution. So this is a key idea behind our question. We will take the help of this key idea to solve the above question. So let's start the solution. Now in this question, a pair of times is thrown four times and getting a doublet is considered a success. Since dice thrown is an independent event and number of trials in the given experiment is also finite, that is it is 4, the trials are Bernoulli trials. Let x denote the number of doublets in an experiment of four trials. Now, total number of outcomes when a pair of dice is thrown is equal to 36. Again, the number of doublets when a pair of dice is thrown is equal to 6. So clearly x has the binomial distribution with n is equal to 4 and p is equal to 6 over 36 and this is equal to 1 over 6. Now according to our key idea, we have probability of x successes is equal to ncx into q raised to power n minus x into p raised to power x where x is equal to 
zero, one, two, so on till n. Now here we have n is equal to four, p is equal to one over six. Now q is given by one minus p, so this is equal to one minus one over six, which is equal to five over six. Therefore, now the probability of x successes is given by 4cx into 5 over 6 raised to power 4 minus x into 1 over 6 raised to power x. Now we have to find the probability of two successes. So, probability of two successes is given by probability of x is equal to 2. So, this is equal to 4c2 into 5 over 6 raised to power 4 minus 2 into 1 over 6 raised to power 2 and this is again equal to now 4c2 is equal to 6 into 5 over 6 into 5 over 6 into 1 over 6 into 1 over 6 and this is again equal to 25 over 216. So the answer for the above question is 25 over 216. So this completes our session. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and have a nice day.